Hello guys, welcome to Mama, Mabel's boy. Today, we got a very special guest. One of my old buddies from years back, golfing and just kind of hanging out. And he's a real movie star, guys. Johnny Ashton. What do you say, Johnny? Hey, brother. How are you doing, brother? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, welcome. And Johnny, today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a perfect steak. Wonderful. I mean like Ruth, Chris, Morton's, Fleming's, Sparks, yeah. Smith and Walensky. All right. Now nah, we've got it covered here. Beautiful. Now, Johnny, the first thing. Oh, you get... I, I gotta tell you, I'm having a problem with my steaks because I used to have to grill with the with the you know with the charcoal and all that stuff to get it really, really hot. Now I have one of those pellet grills, which are great and I love it. But I can't get it the way I like it. I like my steaks Pittsburgh, which is charred on the outside and medium rare on the inside. And part of the problem with that outdoor grill, yeah. you can't control the heat. Right. Okay, I've got a nice Viking outside here, and you can't control the heat on these outdoor grills. That's what your problem is. Right. And this is what you get right here. That's black and blue. Hell, that's black and black and black and what that stuff is. And you get on these outside grills. We have a formula. There is a formula for cooking the perfect steak. All right, now, one of the deals, John, you got to have yourself a good piece of meat here. Absolutely. This steak here comes from the Hume Ranch of my Hawk Springs, Wyoming, which is about 100 miles here. These are my buddies. And they raise grass-fed beef, and they dry-age their beef. And they sell it directly to the public. They don't sell it, for example, at Costco. This beef right here at Costco would cost you $100 a pound. A pound? Get out, One, get out of here, exactly. No, 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 no. The same meat, grass-fed, from the Hume Ranch, Wyoming, area code 307, 630-6993. You want some of these, partner? Just call my friend Catherine up there. Catherine will send you some of these for $30 a pound. Tell her you know Mama Mabel's boy, and you're in like Flynn. They raise their own cows. And look at these, these grass-fed cows here. These look like happy cows to you. Well, what about these things fed the feedlot? Huh? Not too happy. Feedlot happy, no, not too happy. I mean, you've got to, I mean, a, ca a happy cow gives you happy meat. And what we got here is a happy chunk of meat right here. Okay. All right, grass man. What cut is that, a filet? This is a filet, or is it filet? Filet. 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 No, not filet. Not filet. I, I never called it a filet. Well, I know a couple it. of girls called filet, but I... No, filet. And they were filets, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too good, man. Let's cut that filet out of there and get it up on the board. Most importantly is this filet was thawed out last night at room temp. When you cook a steak, you've got to start at room temp. You put it on there when it's cold, take it out of the fridge, you're going to blow it. We have a very precise formula. Now, Johnny, here is the secret formula. And I'm going to share this for the first time ever in the history of the world. First thing you got to do is measure the thickness of the steak. So I've got two tape measures there. And what do we got, Johnny? Go to two inches, well, inch and three quarters. Let's say two inches. Two inches. It's two inches. Okay. Now, you take two inches and you multiply that times one and a half. So two times one and a half is? One, uh, let's see, it's two, uh, uh, two times a half would be, uh, be three. Three, that's it right, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I got my degree in theater. <laughs> okay, well, this is a two inch thick steak. So we take two times one and a half, and that's three. So we're gonna cook this thing for three minutes on this thing right here at red hot. And we'll get it going right now. Well, you wanna take a little of this ghee, G-H-E-E. -E. And Johnny, you know that ghee is from India. I've heard of it. Yeah, and they cremate bodies with this before they throw them in the Genghis Khan River. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but that could work. And we're gonna put that on the stage. Yeah, it's got a nice little burn temp to it. So get that on there and um, <coughs> like that. And notice here, this is a lodge uh, skeleton. We're gonna cook on this lodge 
We're going to put it in the oven three minutes up and three minutes in the oven at 500 degrees. That's the secret. That's the formula. Two inches, one and a half, three, okay, three, three. Three and three. Three and three. Three on each side. Three on each side. Okay, that's going to get us to a nice rare. Okay, now by using this log, we're going to serve this steak on here. Okay. And it's going to keep cooking and it's going to stay hot all the way through. Because if you cook a steak and you put it on a cold plate or a room temp plate, it gets cold in a hurry. So it's kind of like uh, getting served at Ruth's Chris. Eh? Yes. And you could use a regular cast iron skillet, but we're going to serve the steak on the large fajita platter. Fa fajita? Fajita? Fajita. Fajita. Okay, faj faj fajita. Okay. And if you cook it, this is fine, but then you put it on a room temp plate Wait, and the temp starts going down, you know. How about if you cook it on that and serve it on that? Well, you could do that, John. I don't know, but this is my show. Okay. Okay, so I'm let's, just asking. Well, you just ask the question. All right. First thing you got to do, Johnny, take your hands and rub a little of that ghee. Okay. Don't stay, not a whole lot, just a little bit all around. And ghee has a nice high burn temp, so it's not going to get uh, really burned. And, out of whack or anything like that. Okay? Once you've got that, pepper and salt. Just salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. And now listen, you know a lot of times you buy this stuff here like Canadian? All over? Yeah, 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 yeah. You buy this Canadian steak seasoning. This, a good steak, a good piece of meat. Remember, this is prime grass-fed, dry-aged meat from the Hume Ranch in Hot Springs, Wyoming. You put this stuff on here, you're just ruining that steak. Salt and pepper is all you need. I mean, you put this on here, it's like an old guy like John or me or something like that putting Old Spice on. Think it makes it look better. No, no, we're good as it is. We seasoned well done. All right. All right. They're good? Okay. Now. No, I'm going to tell you what I, I'll, I'll tell you what I usually do. Not instead of ghee, which I've heard of. I usually put olive oil on it. Well, you put olive oil to take us, that's why you're here, John. Yeah, that's why I'm here. That's exactly why you're here. All right, baby, All right. pop it on, sizzle. Whoa! Ooh. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, that's what we want. See, there's that. Uh, that's what? Three minutes. Though. Three minutes, yeah. Now, but remember, we've got this oven preheated to 500 friggin' degrees. This is gonna take us to rare, Johnny. Now, you can take a steak from rare to medium rare to medium. But I don't know how in the heck you ever take one from medium rare to rare. Can't do it. So we're gonna kind of ease into this deal here. Okay. Yeah. Gee. Gee. Here, taste a little bit, Johnny. Got a little nutty flavor to it. Oh yeah. Okay. If they involve you a bit, that's what you're gonna take for the rest of your life. <laughs> Might as well get used to it now. Why is they eat me medium rare? <laughs> <laughs> you do not flip the steak until you hear the beeper go. Three minutes. There you go. Flip it. Take a hot pad and gently put it into the hot oven. Oh, no, 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 Three minutes in here. And turn this off, and there you go. Johnny, why don't you spin up a little bit here? I gotta go get something to drink. Now, where do you get this equipment? Where, do you, where can you get this? Well, this lodge stuff is great. I get it on Amazon, that's L O D G E. They make the best cast iron stuff in the world. I do lots of cooking, Dutch oven, lodge skillet. And this is a fajita, fajita. excuse me, fajita skillet, and uh, that's what they serve in the restaurant. But it occurred to me that if you cook your steak on one of these fajita, uh, fajita deals, then, you know, it'll stay hot all the way through like it is in the trip. Now, can you get that? Uh, yeah, that comes with it. Really? It comes in the system. The wooden plate. The wooden plate there, that costs you about $29. Real, real inexpensive, I think. Set it right there in a wooden leaf. Now in the old, you got that uh, the man who killed Liberty Valance, you know, yeah, that yeah, right, huh? movie, when he goes into the cafe, you know where they all eat? Yeah. Where all the cowboys come and eat, and yeah. John Wayne comes in and goes, Bird two! <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, they, in those days, they always wanted their, their steaks well done and because the meat was bad. Because this, the reason the meat was bad. bad, well, this is what they had. This is what I had not to get. This was a cube steak. Cube you steak. ever seen anything right. before? A cube steak. This is what my mom used to serve. I used to try to kill it with tomato juice and tomato sauce and onions. And, and, and this was a steak. Yeah. I must have been 45 years old. I went to Sparks Restaurant one time where what that mafioso guy got bumped off there. Uh, you know, it's not for the only, I don't know. What yeah, yeah. got bumped off there at Sparks. Now let's carefully, uh, move this over here. Now another thing about steaks, Johnny, I want to educate you on just a little bit here. A lot of people make a terrible mistake with their steaks and they use skinny steak knives. Yeah. No. You get yourself a steak knife with dirt. <laughs> That's what you get a steak with. And remember, this steak has been cooking ever since you took it out because it's on that hot plate here. Alright, here we go. It's hot, too. It's hot. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're not just saying that, are you, Johnny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's Ruth's quick quality right there. Good meat, grass-fed, dry aged, cooked with a little ghee like that from a hole. And by the way, I almost forgot to tell you, Lister, this steak... Man, good. This steak was inseminated by a Wagyu bull from Japan. Look, Wagyu. <laughs> you ever heard of a Wagyu bull before? I heard of a Wagyu dance, but not a bull. <laughs> yeah, Wagyu bulls are from Jap Japan, and they inseminated these heifers up there in Wyoming. I think they enjoyed their work. And they um, have a nice marbling content to them. Wow, that's really good. I'm not kidding you. I know you're not. Look at that, baby. Perfect. But, like we said, you got to start with a good cut of meat. That's right. you got to start well, with a good cut of meat. We used to say something in Oklahoma. I'm going to have to paraphrase it a little bit. My grandpa used to say to me, little Bubba, you can't make chicken salad out of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, that's it for today. Johnny, thanks for coming over. Oh my, my brother. <laughs> and remember what Chef Mama Boy always says? A clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Bye-bye <laughs> and yum yum. Bon appetite, partner. See you later. That was really, really good, by the way.